Greetings and salutations and welcome to another video. In today's video we are going to be going through parts, well pretty much the parts, parts of the ACU exam. So if I just open up the spec here, this is the Autodesk Certified User Exam for Inventor, quite obviously here. And in this video we're going to be going through pretty much the part modelling and as much the sketching and browser as we can and then we'll leave the user interface, assembly modelling and drawing for a future episode. So let's get to it. So if you just go into Inventor, and here we go. So right, so we're in Inventor. So let's go back, refer back to the list. We're going to go pretty systematically. Part modeling, create extrude features. Right. So just open yourself a part, start a sketch, take a circle, extrude it. There you are. You've kind of got extrude feature. Now obviously you can make this like a little bit more complicated, you can make like a rectangle. I don't know, you could probably like, if you really want to, you could throw like a circle on the corners. And obviously it's not going to be very happy because it's going to want us to edit the sketch. And no, it's going to want us to edit the feature. And obviously then let us just decide what needs to be extruded and what doesn't. Because obviously if you have only one boundary, it's going to say, well, see that you can extrude, so I'll extrude it and just select it for me. Doesn't always work. But now if you see, what we've now got is just no extrusion. And extrusion works pretty simply, bish bash bosh. Nothing really much more to it. And then it says create a pattern of features. Well, that's quite that's pretty simple so you see we've got a feature here and so you see now if I then just go on rectangular I can say well here's my feature I want to go in this direction I want five of it and I want to space them is 50 wide enough apart there you go and oh and let's say I want to make it in the other direction and we could do that like 50 apart, there you go, rectangular fe rectangle feature, pretty simple. I could also throw in, if I just grab myself a plane of choice, which find a good plane. Now those are really optimal, so we'll just, when you can't find a plane you want, just make the plane you need. Click tick, and you can then just click mirror. Mirror plane, click OK, job done. So what's the next thing you could really do? Well, if we just backspace out of that, you've got a singular one there, then you could, if you really wanted to, let's see, let's set a point. Yeah, if we go on the center point, what you can actually do is you can just do a circular rotation. There's the only feature. Rotation axis. Just choose an axis of your fancy. So you could say, I want the X one. And yeah, it can get a bit messy, but let's just say you want another one. Click OK. And there you go. So you can just now rotate around. And the other one I'm not going to do is sketch driven. You just draw in a sketch and simple as. So that pretty much covers all of that. Create a shell feature. Shells are pretty basic so just go back out of it okay right and so the next job we just go into shell you can just select the top because that's the face going to remove uh, let's see make it like two mil thick maybe not use this one maybe if I actually edit the sketch and get rid of some circles it'll be a bit easier to work with Accept, and we'll just add the feature. Click OK, and let's go then back into shell. And you can select and remove as many faces as you want. You could remove that face if you wanted to. You can make a bit of a U section if you wanted to. So there you go, shelled it. Pretty simple. It's kind of the same kind of feature. Just got to make sure you have enough thickness. Let's apply fillets and chamfers. How much easier can you really get? So. Let's go for a fillet, so let's do down there, 
And the other type of fillet you can do is like an all around, full round fillet where you just select your three edges. So bang, bang, and bang. Right, and last one, face fillet. And there you go. Okay, next job, chamfers. Also quick and easy. Chamfers. Not a fan of the rounded edges so much. And you just gotta be careful. So let's go chamfers. So see you can throw a chamfer there. You can throw a chamfer there, you might have to reduce it. There you are, just make sure it goes green, click apply. There you go, chamfers, bish bash bosh. A whole feature. Dooby dooby doo. Holes. You can lay down points down using a drawing. So if I just go on to like a start sketch, I can start a sketch there. And then let's just say I want to just put, I can put a point there. And then you can just like dimension it. I want it to be five mils from the X axis. And I want it to be four mils from the the Y axis, click OK, and you can then drop a hole right on there. And obviously, you can then customize. So, if you want it to be that's a four mil hole, 45 degree on the countersink, you can change that so you can make it steeper, or you can make it steeper or shallower. Let's keep it at 45. And obviously, you can then change whether you want it to be threaded, tapered, spot face, or a counter ball. So, you got so if you have a rounded rather than a countersunk screw, it'll, they'll both lie flat. Click OK. There you go, you've got a hole in it, job done. Uh, let's go back to the list. Place threads is the next one, we'll come back to revol revolve. Place threads, so you can literally go, we've got a little hole, we haven't got a hole there. So if we just back out of all the mess we made out of this model, and we then just drop a hole on there. Click OK. And you can then select threads. And you can just select, there you go. And if you go in specification, you can just select, I'll just go for an IA, let's go for an ISO metric profile. And let's go, let's go for like an M2. And you can like 25, whatever. Just click apply. If you want a little bonus tip, if you have the cool iron thread modeler downloaded from the Autodesk store, you can just go to thread modeler, select thread, and click OK. Job done. And we'll just back that out because that's more features than we need. Which then leads us to revolve. Dooby 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 doo. Revolve features are an entirely different class of their own, so let's just make a new part. Start a sketch. And you can just traditionally do it with circles, but you, if you also really wanted to, just make an alternative. You can actually make an alternative cylinder. So you can literally just take your rectangle. I don't think, why not just cancel? Let's drop a point there. Click OK. And if you want to be really smart, you can just drop center line down there and revolve and automatic text center line and will revolve it for you otherwise you just have to manually select the axis click OK and there you are you've just revolved a feature it's pretty much the same for each feature you do just take a cross section halve it so you just have a radius profile and revolve it simple as but obviously you can tweak the angle if I go to revolve you can say to what extent the angle so you can say 90 whatever You'll save between planes, or you can just select the full thing. And there you go. And last but not least, I think that is everything for part modeling. The last thing we'll do is we'll actually go to browser editing. We'll then do sketching and the rest in another video, because this video is almost coming up to 10 minutes. Blooming hell, time, fl time flies. So if you just want to suppress, just right click it and just go to suppress features, and it'll just come up as suppressed. And then just unsuppress it. And toggle visibility of features and sketches. Feature, you can just go visibility. Do -do 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 -do. It's best I should probably go into an assembly. 
visibility when you've got all of these in here with sub assemblies this is my exam project and so you say you want to get rid of that frame right click and you just let visibility okay and there we go and you can just backspace it uh, just go back to put it back in and obviously just right click obviously you can do that for planes axis any work features any sketches uh, let's go to parts. I could also uh, start a sketch here. And I could just drop like a circle on there, finish sketch. I could also select the visibility of it and make it disappear. And so that is everything in the part modeling part of the ACU for Inventor. Thank you for listening, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye. <laughs>